What is TB? Welcome to Civil Engineering Edge. Today, let's understand one of the most crucial elements in structural design, the T-beam. A T-beam, or T-shaped beam, is a load-bearing structure made of reinforced concrete that resembles the letter T in cross-section. It is designed by monolithically casting the beam and slab together, where the slab acts as the flange and the beam as the web or stem. This unique shape allows the beam to resist bending more efficiently, especially in the positive bending region of slabs. T-beams are used where slab and beam are cast simultaneously, allowing the slab portion to enhance the bending capacity of the beam. Compared to rectangular beams, T-beams reduce concrete volume and increase the effective depth without increasing self-weight significantly. The reinforcement is generally placed in the stem, where tensile stress is maximum. In short, a T-beam optimally combines slab and beam action, reducing material usage while improving structural performance. It plays a vital role in modern buildings, bridges, and floor systems. Where we use T-beam, T-beams are widely used in multi-story buildings, bridges, parking garages, flyovers, and industrial structures where slab and beam systems are designed together for enhanced load distribution. In building construction, T-beams form part of the slab system in floor and roof frameworks where the slab acts as a continuous flange. This allows the beam to span longer distances while minimizing sag and deflection. In bridge construction, T-beams are often precast or cast in situ and are designed to resist heavy traffic loads. The T-section provides additional stiffness and strength without increasing the depth of the bridge deck. In parking structures and industrial facilities, T-beams efficiently handle point loads, machine vibrations, and distributed loads due to their monolithic nature. Their structural efficiency, reduced material requirement, and seamless integration with slabs make T-beams a practical and cost-effective solution in reinforced concrete frameworks. Steps to Design the T-Beam Designing a T-Beam involves multiple steps to ensure it safely carries bending and shear forces under service conditions. Here's a step-by-step -step design process. Step 1. Define design parameters. Establish the span length, load types live, dead, etc., support conditions, and allowable stresses. Select concrete grade, for example, M25, and steel grade, for example, FEF 500. Step 2. Estimate beam dimensions. Choose the overall depth and width of the stem web. Determine the slab thickness flange thickness and effective flange width as per is 456 to 2000. Effective flange width equals least of span of 6, center to center spacing of beams, actual flange width. Step 3. Calculate bending moments. Use load combinations as per is 456 to calculate factored bending moment mode. For continuous or simply supported T-beams, use appropriate moment coefficients or structural analysis tools. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Civil Engineering Edge.